I'm Dr. Amanda Pesos, an equine chiropractor. Hi, I'm Ann Ramsey, a barefoot specialist and farrier. So today we're going to talk about a situation where it's really important for your farrier and your chiropractor to work together. And that's when there's some sort of syndrome that creates pain and is changing the way the horse moves. Typically, I am tipped off that a horse may be having a musculoskeletal issue if I see a new flare developing on a hoof that previously was wearing in a nice balanced pattern. So a flare can be caused by many different things, but essentially what it looks like is an excessive wall growth, usually on either the lateral or medial side of the hoof, although toe flares can occur sometimes as well. If I see a new flare developing in a horse that was previously balanced, I suspect that there's musculoskeletal pain and that the horse has changed its pattern of movement to avoid loading either the limb or the hoof in a way that is painful. This would be the time when I would refer the client to Amanda. So when Anne lets me know that the horse has a new flare in its hoof, one of the things that I will look at is what kind of movement has changed that caused it. Um, if the horse has a pain in its musculoskeletal system that has recently cropped up, that's something that I would address with chiropractic care. For instance, if the horse had a flare on this right front foot and it were on the lateral, the outside of the hoof, I would look at the joints in the base of the neck on the right here. And I'd also look at the right shoulder and see what is going on up in that structure that would have caused the horse to change how it's moving that resulted in the flare. The flare itself can be relatively easily corrected depending on how long it's been going on. Um, but what I usually find in this instance when there's a new flare accompanied with decreased performance or pain is that even if I remove the flare, if there's no work done on the body or the body issues aren't addressed by the next trim, that flare will return. So it's another instance where we really have to work together to get it corrected. Likewise, yeah, and you know, I can correct the shoulder or the base of the neck on the right, but if I don't have Ann out to also manage that flare on the outside of the right hoof, um, my work is not going to be as effective either. So it's another situation where in working together, we can actually affect more positive change for the horse's health. I'm Dr. Amanda Pesos, an equine chiropractor. You can find my contact information at www.equinemovement.com.